Hello everyone. Uh, tonight I'm going to talk about creating a OSEPA-style face slider using polygon objects. I'm sure there's many methods for doing this, but I'll present uh, one idea tonight, and uh, it seems to work fairly well. Um, coincidentally, this idea uh, came from a demo reel. Uh, this is the Victor Vinyls demo reel, and uh, he created a polygon uh, UI for his facial rig and just uh, yeah, it looks really slick it's it's something different if you're uh, tired of using the same old NURBS uh, controllers you could try something like this and you see he has a polygon object and it looks like you probably textured it here uh, or perhaps you used it well, now yeah, this actually looks like texturing based on the font but anyways great demo reel here uh, if you haven't seen it, take a look. Great rig. Really just a lot of character here and uh, a great mesh to use. Uh, you'll see that uh, the mesh I've been using is someone sculpted that for ZBrush as a base mesh for sculpting. You know, nice heads and uh, I'm really just doing more of an exploratory process. I'm showing off some different techniques and I'm exploring some things as I go. So I'm not too concerned about having a great character because this is pretty much a throwaway rig but uh, yeah anyways great great character so uh, back to the scene here uh, all I did here was create a polygon cube I then cut this up uh, selected this face and extruded that face inwards in the back I can just go ahead and connect these edges and then up front here I beveled these edges and I probably do the same thing with the interior edges and then this object here, just another polycube, and here I've beveled all the edges on this this guy right there. So uh, my down and dirty way of 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 setting this up. Uh, first of all, the the behavior you want is that this can only move up to one and y and down to negative one and y, and then the same goes for x. So I created this object. I did the modify freeze transformation so everything on here is zero in the channel box. Boom, boom, boom. I then locked out all the attributes I don't want open. Okay, and then um, I actually set this to one in both X and Y. And then I just grabbed this object and I moved around some vertices until I got sort of a nice alignment here in the corner and then I grab this guy again and do negative one and did the same thing here just grab these vertices move this in component mode and you know get some nice alignment there uh, then I just create a couple new shaders uh, a nice dark gray one because that's that's the fad now in UI. A few years ago, everything was white. You know, you had your white max and your white this and white that, and now everything is going to this nice, you know, dark gray thing. So I uh, went ahead and went with that, and then a you know, nice bright yellow object for the middle. So uh, once you've done all that, you got this thing sized the way you want. Um, you just need to grab the background object. You go here to the attribute editor. Editor. Oh, it's channel box again. Sorry. The attribute editor. All right. Very sorry. There we go. Jeez. And uh, select the object. Go. I'll just scroll through here. Go down to drawing overrides, and that's a. I'm sorry. Display. There you go. Drawing overrides. And that would have, you know, okay. Uh, enable overrides. And you see here I have the display type set to reference. Uh, what that's going to do is make it so when I drag across here, I only get that object. This object can no longer be selected. Cool. So the next thing you'd want to do is uh, go to create and then camera, make a new camera. Uh, name your camera something that makes sense to you, uh, face control cam or something along those lines. I already did some of this, uh, just in interest of time. Here I have the face control cam, and then I'm going to uh, 
Yeah, look through selected. Boom, 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 boom. So now I'm actually viewing my base control cam. Yep, base control cam. Yep, there we go. So um, the next part of this would be to create a new window. Um, to do that, generally I would use uh, Python and script this out until I had a nice button that would just look through that window and then make that part of a, a character shell for my character. Um, for now you could do something uh, along the lines of, uh, of just tear off this perspective. You know, tear off, boom, there you go. So now you have this extra window here that, you know, just has that in perspective. You could size it down and make it, you know, all cool and stuff. But uh, anyways, that's the gist of it. Uh, I'll probably come back with a, another video later on just showing off some Python code. We'll go ahead and, and create a window to put this in and make a nice button that, you know, basically brings up our facial UI uh, with these, well, in this case, with this slider. So there you go. I hope that helps somebody. And uh, talk to you next time.